from the FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 official soundtrack. Despite a valiant effort, the U.S. men's national team ended their World Cup bid on Saturday after a 3-1 loss to the Netherlands. Oh, the Such team, oh, it really is. And the team still has a lot to celebrate, though. They went toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the world's toughest players, making it to the knockout round of 16 for the first time since 2014 and just the fifth time ever. So here with us to discuss this amazing run are some young Team USA super fans. Thank you guys so much for being here. Excited? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so happy to have you here. Ryan over there, tell me a little bit. Why were you so excited? What was your favorite moment? Um, I love soccer. <laughs> it's um very competitive sport. Um, the results were very unexpected. It's been very dramatic World Cup. Oh, it, yeah. It that's, was, that's the way it to describe was dramatic. it. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, what about you? Uh, it was a very unexpected loss, but I feel like they tried their hardest, and mm. they still. They sure did. Yeah. They sure did. Jack and Maya, <laughs> I want to ping you guys, the bigger kids back here. What were some of your favorite moments? Uh, probably the U.S. qualifying to the round of 16. It was very good. I mean, uh, seeing them get that far, proud of them. Yeah, it should be. Um, Christian Pulisic's goal against Iran. Uh, he, like, tried his hardest, and he, like, put his whole body into the into scoring the goal. It takes so much skill. Like, they're so good, and it's so exciting to watch them. Oh, so exciting. But listen, you know, we kind of tricked you a little bit. You're not just here to talk to us. No. Because we have a big <laughs> surprise for you. Please welcome Team USA stars Kellen Acosta <laughs> and Walker Zimmerman. <laughs> These super fans are so excited to meet you despite their shocked look. <laughs> and they have a lot of questions for you. Okay. So who wants to Jude, do you have a question for for these guys? You wanna go first? My question is like, what's like okay. you're preparing for the World Cup? Ooh. I know it's like very hard because there's like a lot of people there. Like mm -hmm. how, what's like the meal that you would have? The meal I would have. For me, it's it's pasta. I love a good pasta. <laughs> I love a like a turkey bolognese is my thing. Ooh. And uh, yeah, so you should try that. And then a nice nice uh, cold glass of water does the trick. How about you? Yeah, I'm pretty similar. I uh, <laughs> eat a lot of pasta, a lot of carbs the day of the game. And the other main thing I do is I take a nice pregame nap. <laughs> you know, I get in my bed, I have it 65 degrees or colder in that room, and oh, I just wow. pass out for, for a little bit. Um, but I do that before every game. All right. Carb loading and sleep. That yeah, sounds like yeah. a good way to prepare yeah, for yeah. <laughs> All right, what about you, Ryan? What question do you have? Um, like, what type of celebration like, would you do if you like, score a goal? Like mm. celebration. Oh, for me, it's just a classic knee slide. You just can't go wrong with that. Into the corner, <laughs> one of those, a little mm. pump of the crowd type deal. I mean, I don't score many goals, but if if I were to score a goal, that would be mine. I've always been a little bit scared of the knee slide. <laughs> like I'm worried about the flexibility in the quads and, and getting hurt during the celebration. So I, I just honestly, I black out. I just kind of freak out and I yell, "Let's go!" <laughs> <laughs> Everything else just kind of goes goes dark. Let's go! Yeah. No dancing or no anything. Dancing. Out there. I, no, I gotta yeah. keep that out of it. Out of the cards. All right, uh, Tyler. What about you? You have a question, uh, right? Um, what would you be if you weren't a soccer player? Oh. Good question. What would I be? You want I know what I would want to be. I don't know if I could actually be that, but I would love to be a golfer. I love golf. That sounds a lot like a lot of fun. Uh, but growing up, I want to be a veterinarian. So I love animals. Uh, have an amazing dog. Love her to death. Miss her. Can't wait to see her. But. Uh, yeah, I would say a vet is another thing I'd be interested in. And me, I'd probably be a, a sports broadcaster. I want to be on TV. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, you Hopefully got that's your in the door. Yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. yeah. This yeah. is your audition. Exactly, exactly. Right. So right. I've been watching, yeah. Flip this. <laughs> Seriously, but that, that would be, that'd be really cool. I'll be close to the sport and, and I get to enjoy watching. What do you want to be when you grow up? I think I would like to be, um, a soccer player too. Yes, I love that. I love that. And you can do it. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you, super fans, for being here as well. And you're not going home empty handed. You're each going home with drum roll, soccer go. ball Woo! signed by these guys. They're right there in that bag. So we're going to get those signed. Thank you to Walker. You thank you, Kelly. Yeah. We are so proud of you guys and the team. And we can't wait for 2026, right? Oh, yeah. We'll <laughs> Happy holidays, guys.
Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.